So Leo, this is the second session. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay. So uh, what I want to say, Leo, if you deleted um, that note before you take a note of um, of the next address, so when you want to tie this uh, note to the next one, you will not be able to get this 30. The only way is to first read it from the node before you delete it. So you assign that, the 30 that is stored here, you assign it to a temporary variable, and then uh, you delete that, and then you go and change the next uh, pointer here. And instead of pointing to 20, you make it point to 30. So only then this can be connected and this will be deleted or it's just ignored. Does this make sense to you? Yes. Okay, perfect. Okay. So now the last thing that we need to have a look um, upon in the linked list before we move forward, I wanted you to uh, make a function. This function should be able to modify the student grade. So assume the same code that you have in hand, um, you have uh, a few students. I want you to change the grade of one of the students um, from one value, from any value, that, let's say 88, to having 99. So are you able to make a function that can um, take a student name Let's assume that student name is Leo. Take Leo and take a list and then find his grade and change it to 99. Leo? Uh, sorry, somebody somebody walked in, uh, so I couldn't hear what you were saying. I wanted to mute because somebody walked in. I'm sorry. No problem. It's okay. So, uh, okay. Let me repeat again. So this is a, actually an exercise. We would like to create a function that modifies the student grade, okay? And when we modify the student grade, so uh, I assume that Leo grade is 88 and I'm giving a function, I will have a function. This function will take two things, will take a student name and it will take a, a linked list. So we will loop through the linked list and try to find Liu and then change his grade. And if we manage to do that successfully, we will return true. Did you get what I'm trying to tell you? Yes. Okay. So there's the function definition which should look like that. So you see here. This is a list, this is a name, this is a grade that you need to, um, the new grade that you need to assign to that student. So you're, this is how you're going to define your function. And okay, uh, we can make this footprint as Boolean. So at least we know if, uh, if our function really managed to, um, is if our function really managed to 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 change the grade, okay? Yep. Okay. Good. So I will give you the chair. I can send the these slides to you. Okay. Let me see.
So I send the slides already to your, okay, good.
So you managed to do it, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, one thing I would like to um, highlight to you. Can you go please up? So first, um, you can easily, uh, no need to, actually I uh, define this variable. You can come here and, and just re say return true directly here. And instead of this, you can say return false. So it means that if we manage to modify the grid, immediately return. No need to continue looping through the, um, the list. Uh, this is uh, will help you to save time here and no need to create variables and it doesn't need it doesn't make you need to loop through the whole linked list if you manage to do, to do the modification because it's only only one student name that you need to modify not a list of names so if you manage to change it uh, you immediately return immediately return means that you even exit the while loop okay but if you didn't yep. exit the while loop it means that you never find the name. So if you never find the name, you will immediately return false. Does this make sense or it's complicated? Oh uh, yeah, it makes sense. Can you run and see? Okay, so it is the same, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. Um, so one code, uh, so just remain a, a while here. I would like to pass you a code. You copy it and then, um, let me see here. I will pass it to your WhatsApp. So I would like you to create that function that I passed to you. And so copy that function or even write this function um, here uh, at line 17, for example. Okay. And just call it from your main. Call it. Yes, you can call it uh, from the bottom here. Just create a variable that is called x or even um, any variable, number, variable name number, integer, num. Yeah, okay, good. And then call the function. And after you call the function, I want you to... Um, write a print statement and try to print the value of the number. So, yes, good. Do you have any explanation for that? Uh, so the value is only incremented like inside the method, but outside of it, it stays the same. Mm -hmm. But why then, when you passed the list here, 
are you able to so you pass the list uh, uh, st list to this function and it modified uh, pop grade to become 50. Can you try to print yeah. here, please, pop grade after you modified it inside the function? Oh, it didn't change. Really? Oh, wait, sorry. I put the wrong end of it. Sorry, never mind. Yeah, it didn't. I don't think it changed. Mm -hmm. So, what does this mean? Um, well, in this case, it would mean that, like, the the grade can't be uh, changed from within this method. Okay, I want you to first, since, okay, I want you first to make sure, I want to see that you actually managed to change it. So make a print statement inside here and show me that you managed to, to change it. Okay. I don't know. So actually you just I think you go down please. I think you 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 was testing using a uh, incorrect name. Yeah. So please Modify the name correctly. Mm -hmm. So um, now the result is totally different. In this is inside the function, and this is outside the function. So where did you uh, print the true? You print the true here. Yep. And here you print 50. So it means, it, it somehow means that when I change the grade inside this list, it managed to retain the value that I changed. But at the same time, when I created a variable and I pass it to a function, that variable 
uh, is only changed inside the function, but when it come outside, it doesn't. It's, it, it come back and print back the, the same value that it have. But why is it? Uh, well, my, well, I think it's because within the modify student by name method, it used a setter method to uh, modify it. On the other hand, with the uh, increment value, it, it well, the inter increment value like didn't use anything like that, so that might be the difference. Um, no, the difference is um a concept say uh passing. Variables. by value and by reference. So, okay. If you pass an integer or a string or a Boolean uh, to a function, it is passed by value. And I will explain that, but uh, allow me first. And if you pass an object, okay, st list is a variable of type uh, um, linked list. It means that this st list, this linked, our linked list is actually an object. And all object is passed by reference, by default. So what is the meaning passed by reference? So inside the RAM, you have um, a place in the memory that you have uh, this linked list stored and this place is called st list. At the same time, you have another place that you call it number. And you have here this three. Here you have uh, almost uh, five objects, five student objects stored inside this ST list, okay? So when I pass the number, I pass it by value. This is the default, default thing that is happening. Pass it by value to this function, it means I create uh, a parameter. Uh, show me what do you call, ah, you call X. You call the parameter inside the increment value as X. So I copy whatever in number, I store it in X, okay? So this is called copy or pass by value, means that I copy whatever you want, you are passing to me here to the function, in an, I put it in another location in the memory, I call it, um, I, I call it X, like you are calling here inside the definition of the function, and here it becomes three. So when you inside the function decide to increment X, so here you move this three, that you already put, and it put four. And when you print it, it will print four. And when you come back and print here, it will go to the original definition because once you exit the function, this place is already in the past. It's already deleted. Once you exit the function, this is totally deleted. So he will come here to print number and he will find that it is having three. So he will print for you three, same like this. But when you are passing an object uh, by reference, because this is an object, same like student, student is an object. If I pass a student and I modify it, it will retain the value. Why it will retain its content or value? Because I pass it by reference and what's the mean passing by reference? So you see here, modify student by name. When you pass this ST list, actually I am passing the address, the memory address of this actual ST list. I will not make another copy in an, another location in the memory. So when I pass the, the ST address, the real original ST address in the memory, any modification I do, I do to the real object here. I, I do to the original place. That's why when you modify here, the grade, 
you print it afterwards, it will still print this the, the modified version because you didn't have a copy like ST list or, or you call it their student list, right? Yep. Inside your function. So it doesn't create another one that's called student list. No, it, it, it pass the student list the same address of the ST list in the memory. And this is done internally and you're not aware of it, but what you just need to be aware that this cost concept is called called passing by rep. So you are passing the real address of the memory, but passing by value means that I'm copying the address here as a content of the address. I am passing it. I make another copy in the play in the memory. And then I, whatever I modify here, yes, I, I keep it as long as the function is there. Once the function function exit, the all the modification is done, is gone and all the, the copied variable content is already gone and deleted. And you come here, you return back to the original. Does this make sense? Yep. Did you manage to get anything from what I'm saying? Oh uh, yeah, I understand. Okay, perfect. So, okay, now let me share. Um, Okay, so can you let me know what do you really know or remote, uh, remember um, about the stacks? Well, what I can remember about the stacks is, well, the push and the pop, and then also the uh, last in and first out. But other than that, I don't remember much. Okay, so... Um, When you are putting um, plates on top of each other, um, you, do you do you recall if we have a number of plates, and um, so this is a place that we really put the plates in the kitchen on top of each other. So each plate will somehow look like that. So you put the next plate, it will sit on top of the old one. And if you have another plate, sorry, the drawing is not so perfect. You put it on top of all those. So now you have one, two, three, four plates. Are you able to get the first plate from under? If this is a closed yeah. container, it's not possible, right? So I think if you try to, because I know that uh, the stacks and the queue is actually confusing. Um, they, are, they are opposite, really opposite to each other. So the stack here, okay. So we have to close and open again, please. 